Okay, so this week we're looking at what uh, the person asking the questions, who we call Asker, is going to do in the middle of an asking bid sequence if there's interference over the response to a previous ask. Worth noting at this stage that this is not the same, identical anyway, it's not identical to the arrangements when there's interference immediately over the positive response to one club. You may think it's a technicality that we're not yet within in the middle of an asking bid sequence at that stage, but actually there are very definite considerations that change uh, our approach subtly, and that's the subject of next week's session. Oh, sorry. Are you getting that in stereo, guys? Okay, so so keep D1, P2 in your brain um, because it does work in a somewhat similar fashion in the main. Okay, and I mean, most of you have probably seen examples of this or know this well. Um, but hopefully, uh, for those that are relatively new to OCP, uh, this will be valuable. Okay, so firstly, if there's interference over the response to a previous ask, generally speaking, double and redouble is an asking bid in the suit immediately below that of the interference or the last suit bid if we've had some doubles or redoubles. So if the last bid was two spades, whatever's happened previously, then a double would be an asking bid in hearts. And as you'll see in a minute, pass is going to be and ask in the suit immediately below that. But as I've said, there are times, as I've said there, there are some times when the meaning of pass and maybe even the meaning of double are actually predefined, in which case uh, that wouldn't operate. So supposing we've had a positive response to alpha um, and that was, say, a four-step response or or rather whatever the response we get some interference that means that um, a bid in the agreed trump suit is going to be more than two bids away now we would define pass as sigma and double would be relay beta so in that case the meanings of double and pass are predefined. Sometimes it may be only that the meaning of pass is predefined, e.g. relay beta, perhaps. Um, and uh, so you have to sort of think on your feet to some extent in terms of uh, whether any special considerations apply e.g. particularly it's particularly with alpha that it happens or when the last response was agreeing a trump suit if the last uh, response was a positive response to alpha then sigma is potentially in the mix and uh, especially over interference uh, and if the last suit was any sorry the last response was any bid that was agreeing a trump suit then relay beta is also in the mix potentially and those have priority over anything else so we tend to use pass and double for those bids if they apply um, rather than asking backwards in the suits immediately below the last interference let's bear with me
Okay, that's an important point that I've mentioned there. Um, uh, suit below and suit two below, generally speaking, are ignoring no trumps. However, when without the interference, one no trump would have been a low level beta, we can ask backwards back to that low level beta, but only to one no trump. If uh, we, we tend to give priority to trump asking bids rather than anything else. Um, so we don't ask back to, for example, a low beta of two diamonds, if that's available. Uh, it's only a low level beta of one no trump that we would count backwards to. Okay, where are we? Okay, so just like with uh, what we covered last week, um, it's not always the case that both pass and double or redouble are available as space saving measures. Um, for example, if partner's last action was a double or a redouble and our right hand opponent passes then obviously neither pass nor double or redouble is available to ASCA as a space saving measure um, unless we decide to pass a double or a redouble for that matter uh, for penalties Similarly, if partner's last response was a pass and our right-hand opponent passes, then we have double or redouble available, but pass isn't an option. In answer to your question, uh, Sanya, uh, absolutely yes, um, but I'm not going to change it. I'm sure most people will realise what I was uh, um, trying to get over. It's just a typo. Um, okay, so in that example there, we've had uh, a one heart positive response to one no Trump to one club rather. One no trump low beta, a response of two diamonds showing three controls, and now our right hand opponent comes in with two spades. So now what do we do? So double is a, an asking bid in the suit below, supposedly, and that would be hearts, but pass would be. Uh, a theta in diamonds or rather and pass would be a theta in diamonds um, because we've if we had had the interference earlier if there had been two spades for example over one heart now with current arrangements at any rate pass would have been gamma because that's predefined um, and that's the subject of next week's lesson but when the interference comes over the response to a low level beta there's no special arrangements so double is an ask in the suit below spades which is hearts and so it's gamma and pass would be a suit a bid in the suit two below spades in other words diamonds and so it would be theta in diamonds any questions so far? Don't be shy. If you need to ask, then ask.
So as I mentioned before, if we had a two spade bid over one heart in that sequence, it would be different. So here's another example. So here we had a positive uh, response of one no trump showing five card spades, two clubs beta, two no trumps response showing five controls, and now three clubs. So you just have, always have to remember this wheel with the suits. So spades is the suit below clubs, and clubs is the suit above spades in that wheel. So if we, if opener doubled three clubs, that would be gamma in spades, the suit below uh, three clubs, and pass would be theta in hearts, which is the suit two below. The normal arrangements, by the way, for um, gamma being a bid in the suit when it's the relay over the interference still apply. So, for example, if uh, the interference over two no trumps was three hearts, then, uh, sorry, the in sorry, if the interference over one no trump was two hearts, then two spades would be gamma in spades. Well, it's just that they would never get used, Barry. I dare say if uh, Opener forgot the system and bid three hearts or three spades over three clubs, then probably, um, you know, responder would, would realize that they'd probably forgotten the system and use it. But the fact is, we're wasting space. Um, you know, there's no meaning assigned to three hearts or three spades because we don't, we don't need it. If we want to make an asking bid in hearts or spades, we've got them available much more cheaply. Um, and there's no meaning for a jump shift below game level at any rate. Um, in that kind of a sequence. Okay. Okay. So these sequences are getting slightly more complicated each time or, or apparently slightly more complicated. So here we had a one heart positive one no trump, low beta, two clubs showing naught to two. Well, it's, uh, in answer to your question, um, we don't tend to start trying to get a decent penalty at the two level normally. Okay. One of the, the things that we're discussing in the forum at the moment, the, the preemptive interference side of things uh, refers to jump bids to a level above three no trumps. One of the effects of what we're discussing is probably going to be that we're going to significantly reduce that. Um, and we will include some other circumstances where maybe we haven't had a jump bid, but we will still consider it preemptive interference. I'm particularly thinking of barrage bidding. Okay, so we wouldn't normally consider um, trying to get a penalty double at the two level if we think we might have a game or a slam on. Um, so in this last example, where ops have just come in with a bit of two diamonds over responders, two clubs showing naught to two controls. If you imagine, um, double is a, suit, a bid in the suit below two diamonds. In other words, it would be theta in clubs. 
and pass here would be asking backwards. Now, because one no Trump was beta, it, and we had a range response to uh, to that, we can ask backwards to one no Trump again. So pass over two diamonds would be another beta, but this time on the weak scale. Okay, so we can ask backwards to one no Trump if one no Trump would have been beta or was actually beta. If we need another beta, we can ask backwards to it again. Is everybody following these sequences so far? Is anybody having a problem with them? It's because the next ones are getting even more complicated. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So this is this is very illustrative of why we really love ops who double our bids. Okay. We welcome that with open arms in, if we're in an asking bid sequence. So here we had one club, a double by our left hand opponent. Partner bid one diamond, which is, as you'll recall, a positive in diamonds because they can redouble or pass to show a naught to seven hand. Our right hand opponent then doubled one diamond. Who knows what it's supposed to mean? If we redouble now, it's therefore um, a bid in the suit below. One diamond, in other words, it's clubs. Okay. Pass, on the other hand, would be gamma because we predefine where partners made a positive in a suit and we get interference over that positive response. Pass is always gamma in partner suit. That's a, a predefined option. So we wouldn't. Yes, it is. But I'm mentioning it now because um, it does. Um, there's more to come in this in this example, I think, or a very similar one in just a minute. But yes, Barry, you're quite right. This is mostly to do, but it's still driving the point home. Um, that, that, that over a positive response there are different arrangements but uh, the D1P2 side of things does apply to some extent well they do uh, I, I just feel the need to mention these um, rather than some huge long sequence where we get interference at the four level and you will get that but most of the time when ops are interfering it's actually at a relatively low level uh, and very often over the you know, interference over the positive response to one club is much more common than interference at the four level later on in the sequence it does happen obviously um, but uh, and I mean I showed you some sequences later on from sorry last week from real play uh, where they were doing stuff at the four level um, okay. Okay. So here we go. One club, double, one diamond, positive diamonds, another double. And now we bid pass, which was a gamma in diamonds. No bid. One no trump, um, which is the gamma response, okay, showing five card diamonds with uh, two to three top honors. And then we got interference of two clubs. Okay, so again, here. Over the positive in diamonds, 
one no trump was potentially going to be beta um, if we decided to do that rather than passing so over the interference of two clubs double is the suit below which is epsilon in spades and pass here would be relay beta because it's the cheapest possible action and the previous response i.e. one no trump agreed diamonds okay yes I know that the pass agreed diamonds but the pass was the ask the one no trump bid whatever the response was would be uh, agreeing diamonds as trumps and so pass would always be relay beta when the previous one this is one of these examples of um, stuff being predefined okay if we if the previous are the previous response agreed the trump suit um, then if there's interference over that then pass would be relay beta <laughs> oh well just take some headache pills Eliana you'll be fine <laughs> right one more okay just to drive home the issue about no trumps um, so I mentioned before that we can ask backwards to a low beta of one no trump um, but for example if we had a sequence where two no trumps would have been handing over the captaincy we can't ask backwards to handing over the captaincy okay the priority is always given to asking backwards to asking bids in suits um, so if need be we just ignore no trumps and ask backwards to spades or hearts or whatever we need to below that okay so in this sequence you had one club, one spade, positive, in, uh, balance positive, two clubs, um, interference. So pass in those circumstances is beta, predefined. Uh, and then supposing partner doubled to show 0 to 2 controls and our right hand opponent redoubled because they really do have clubs okay so it's gone two clubs pass double redouble back to us if we pass um, over the uh, hang on a second sorry the pass over two two clubs would have been uh, alpha in spades but we sorry the pass over two clubs was beta because I'm getting myself confused now the pass over two clubs was beta um, because partner showed a balance positive um, one no trump would have been low beta without the interference the interference so over the redouble pass is an ask in the suit below given that it's a redouble we can't re redouble so that pass is the only um, space saving measure to us so pass is an ask in the suit below since the uh, the previous response to beta showed a range beta is still in the mix so we can still ask back to, to one no trump with that pass and so that would be another low beta but now using the weak scale so it is vaguely similar to um, the example I gave before but please bear in mind it's only low betas of one no trump that have this low betas that would have been a relay over for example positive responses of 
one no trump, two clubs or two diamonds, um, where two clubs, two diamonds and two hearts respectively would be a low beta. We do not ask backwards to low betas uh, in those circumstances. The priority is always given to trump asking bids because if we agree a trump suit, we've always got relay beta. Bear with me. Uh, not quite sure what your asking here Barry um, which example were you trying to use let me have a look back Actually, you are right. Thank you very much. Do you know something? I've been using that example for about five or six years. And you're the first person, Barry, who's ever spotted that mistake. You're quite right. So in, let me just. Uh, I've just got to find that example. Just bear with me a second. I'm just trying to find the example. Um, right, it's this one. Okay, so in that example, you're quite right. Um, over the double... So partner made a positive in diamonds. Our right-hand opponent doubled. We passed. And our left-hand opponent passed. So our pass was gamma in diamonds. So yes, redouble is the first step. One heart, the second step. One spade, the third step. And so one no trump is actually the four-step response. Which, as Barry very correctly says... Uh, it should be six card diamonds with one top honor. Well done, Gary. Go to the top of the class. Um, in fact, just bear with me a minute. Just so I don't, because I'll forget it otherwise. I'm just going to change that while we speak. Um, just so I get it right next year. Just hang on a second. Um, talk amongst yourselves for a minute. Hmm? I'll be there shortly, Naomi. Okay. Okay, that's done. Sorry about that. Um, okay, where were we up to? Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, it's... Okay, two points there. Uh, you're quite right, John. But, I mean, they're all tough to spot sometimes. Um, uh, you really have to, to think about 
whether double or redouble is available to you um, and therefore and whether it has whether either of them has any special meaning that's predefined and if not what they're potentially asking in and therefore what the asking bid is that's applicable you know these are these are general rules rather than specific ones for the most part uh, to your point Sanya um, essentially no we don't it can affect the likelihood of um, of partner making a particular positive response in other words if one club double shows clubs if responders got a positive in clubs it's unlikely they're going to show it they can do um, but they might they might bid one no Trump instead even if they're perhaps not totally balanced because they've got clubs well covered if they've got a club suit as well um, it, it does it does it does affect the sequence potentially but it won't normally affect the meaning of the positive responses apart from the fact that the spade one no trump um, swap tends to go but yes generally speaking we just keep on telling our story uh, it, it can affect it can affect I'm not thinking of that particular sequence um, supposing supposing we open one club and uh, partner bids one spade balance positive and our right-hand opponent doubles to show spades if we end up a bit later in the sequence making what might otherwise have been an epsilon in spades below the level of three no trumps then there's a good chance that the the three spade bid by us is actually a directional asking bid but it depends if we've agreed a suit then it might it would be epsilon if we haven't agreed a suit it's unlikely to be a trump ask and therefore it's more likely to be a directional asking bid does that help you Sanya hopefully when I give you some actual example hands I'm gonna uh, these sequences are impossible impossible to cover with FDCC uh, Barry um, we, we do cover a few of them but it's normally the um, action over the positive responses interference over the positive response to one club rather than anything else because it, it's just impossible to, to program that uh, into anything else into FD because it's there's just too many possibilities okay um, let's give you a quick example hand uh, I may just create some of the uh, interference here um, okay so here so far and I know this is initially um, an example of action over a, interference over a positive response to uh, one club but we'll get to other stuff afterwards um, so here pass is predefined as gamma in hearts because it's the cheapest possible action when we've had interference over a positive suit response by South
So now we're in uh, D1 territory. Pass isn't an option, but double is. Okay, so double is the one step response. Uh, two no trumps, the two step response that shows five cards, one top honor. So that's what we're going to bid. So relay beta. So over three spades, going back to last week, double would be naught to two controls, passes three controls, because that's the two-step response. So once again, pass isn't an option. Double is, however. You wouldn't get a double here, but who can tell me what double means? Anybody? You're absolutely right, Barry. It's a repeat gamma in hearts because it's the suit below spades. So you have to ask yourself, what would another bid in hearts be here? If there couldn't be another bid in hearts, supposing we'd already had a repeat gamma, and so we've asked all the questions we're ever going to want to ask about hearts, then we skip down the next one to diamonds. Okay. Um, so here, double is a repeat gamma in hearts. We wouldn't use it because we don't need it. We have already know that partner's got five to the king in hearts. And so there's no point. Um, so let me just undo that. So we wouldn't actually use a double, but that's what it would mean in a different sequence. Uh, so now we might try... We know partner's got naught to three controls. Um, really, the only issue is, do they have the Ace of Diamonds or not? So that would be an Epsilon. And note, it's worth noting, by the way, at this point, that, that this idea of we've exhausted all the possible asking bids in hearts, Therefore, double there couldn't be a repeat gamma doesn't apply because although North knows exactly what the position in hearts, South doesn't know what North's hearts are. So South doesn't know that actually North doesn't need to ask again in hearts. So the repeat gamma is potentially still available. North knows that they don't need it but South doesn't know that. Now, this is just, 
I'm only putting this five spade bit in um, just to make the point. One of the things that we're discussing in the discussion forum at the moment is this issue of barrage bidding. Because at the moment, the rules for preemptive interference don't include this, this kind of interference. Now, actually, uh, the way that we seem to be moving is that actually we would consider under the new arrangements, if they're agreed, that actually three spade, the three spade bid earlier in the sequence would constitute barrage bidding. Um, and, and so our, uh, we would perhaps consider that pass might become uh, Levensol forcing north to double with a view to south then passing as a penalty double of three spades because of the vulnerability here. Um, the other issue is that even if we hadn't had the, the barrage bidding earlier, if there's interference above the level of, at the five level, for example, we would consider that preemptive interference as well. Um, and the arrangements for kicking in, uh, for example, contracted scales for some of the asking bids um, or pass equals eleven sol. So actually pass equals eleven sol wouldn't apply with three spades because it's responder who's bidding. Um, over three spades we, we might start using contracted responses um, for the uh, to the three club relay beta. Um, except that beta would never have contracted responses anyway, so wouldn't apply. But over th five spades, uh, we would have pass would become Lebensol forcing south to double and then uh, north would pass because there's a good chance that uh, we might get a penalty, better penalty um, out of five spades doubled at this vulnerability than we would if we were merely looking at perhaps a game um, if five hearts wasn't enough sorry yes if five hearts was the limit of what we were going to do we would want to penalize them because the chances are that taking five spades three off doubled is going to score more than playing in five hearts. In fact, we're heading towards a grand slam, so we wouldn't bother. But uh, just to make the point. Opener's second bid. Sorry, opener's second bid, do you mean over two spades? Oh, sorry, double. All right, sorry, double. Okay, yes, um, over two spades. Um, yes, double would be um, a... No, double would be alpha in diamonds. Barry. Okay, so over the two spade bid, uh, pass is automatically uh, gamma in hearts. So double is the suit below spades. It can't be an asking bid in hearts because we've already covered that with the pass. And so we skip down to the next bid. So double would be an alpha ask in diamonds. Okay. Um, the way this works is that if, if North wanted to make a, an alpha in clubs, they've got a relatively cheap bit of three clubs it's diamonds which is the more expensive one that we want to try and make arrangements for um, and so we just drop down to diamonds rather than any further okay any questions about this sequence I think we just once uh, North knows that South has got ASEX in uh, diamonds um, they're just 
they're just going to sign off in seven um, because clearly Diamonds is going to take care of any losers we might have elsewhere. Um, okay, any questions about that sequence, about the uh, the backwards asks or the um, the D1P2 by responder in those sequences? Like I said, don't worry too much about the issue of barrage bidding and the changes. Uh, we haven't agreed those yet. Uh, so please have a look at the forum if you're interested to look. And please join in in the discussion by all means. Um, like I said, hopefully we'll finish those discussions in the next two weeks. And I will be doing a session specifically on those changes and trying to explain what the new arrangements are if we have managed to agree them before two weeks today. Okay, uh, let's look. Where are we? So I'm just trying to remember where I was up to. Yes. Okay, so you can see from the examples I gave in the text before that uh, cheap interference can actually gain us bidding space using this. Um, I, I gave you an example last week, um, that hand that Jason and I played in a very big pairs congress where um, responders got a singleton queen of diamonds and queen x in spades and we were one of only about three pairs in the room, very big pairs congress, to get to six diamonds because very, very few people had the ability to find out about the singleton queen of diamonds, which made the diamonds solid, um, and the queen x of spades, which made openers, the strong hand spades solid. Um, but there we had... Uh, some cheap interference at a low level in the form of doubles, which actually gained us in total about two and a half or three rounds of bidding. And it was only because of that that we were actually able to ask enough questions um, to bid the small slam. But uh, uh, so cheap interference can actually gain us space. Even relatively more expensive interference these arrangements do allow us to recoup some, if not all, um, of that space. Um, and the backwards asks similarly very often recoup considerable space, um, especially if the interference is relatively cheap. But, you know, if you get sequences like one club, one heart positive response, and right-hand opponent comes in with four spades, there's very little you can do to recover from that. If, if ops have got the sort of hand and the vulnerabilities right that they can afford to come in with that kind of interference, um, uh, we, you will always struggle. And, and there's no system is really going to be able to cope with that. So as long as you've got a penalty double available, at least you've got the option of either bidding on with asking bids or bidding on as a sign-off, um, or taking a penalty double. Okay, uh, any questions about what we've covered so far? So, so far we've only looked at, at uh, relatively simple interference without lots of preemptive jumps um, a quick word about relay beta and we have one example of this before so um, 
if the previous ask was a Trump asking bid and partner shows a positive response, or if indeed the previous ask was an asking bid such as Gamma or ETA, both of which automatically agree the suit regardless of the response, then if we get interference over the response, then uh, pass is always relay beta. Unless it's bumped by something else. And the only something else that bumps relay beta is sigma. Thank you, John. <laughs> is there an echo in the room? <laughs> okay, so, so sigma bumps relay beta because it has a higher priority. Um, it's indeed stereo, yeah. Or, or are you on steroids? I, I wasn't quite sure what you were trying to say, John. <laughs> Okay, so sigma bumps relay beta, but that's the only thing that bumps relay beta. Um, so if sigma, if if the last asking bid was alpha, and we got a positive response to the alpha ask, and we then get interference such that we don't have a cheap ask in the trump suit available, either as the next bid up or the next bid but one, then pass the chiefest response is sigma and double becomes relay beta if double is available. If double isn't available, uh, double or redouble isn't available, then the next bid up becomes relay beta. Okay, so um, given the current definition of preemptive interference, okay, which is jumps above the level of three no trumps, um, or jumps to a level above three no trumps, um, that's what kicks in preemptive interference arrangements at the moment. So. In those circumstances, and I'm going to be coming on to this in more detail at the minute, pass becomes Levensol, asking partner to double. So in those circumstances, double would be relay beta if, if that was what the situation, the sequence to date determined. So uh, supposing over, let's see, three clubs in this sequence was... Relay beta. No, sorry. Uh, the pass over two spades was gamma. And uh, partner responds to no trumps, showing three controls. If West now bid four spades, um, and say, supposing, so, sorry, supposing South had uh, passed, no, they can't pass. Suppose South had doubled over two spades and West now bid four spades. Not very likely, but suppose they did. Now, pass would be Levensol, forcing a double, which North would probably then pass, or might pass, but if North doubled four spades in that sequence, that would be another beta, effectively, because beta is still applicable because the first response to beta got uh, a range response. So in those circumstances, we can ask backwards to a relay beta. Any questions? If your head is spinning, don't worry too much. Just have a look at the website because it it is explained fairly well there.
So the main upshot of, of these changes that we're considering is to make it easier for the pass equals Levensol situation to arise so that we can persuade, try and persuade ops not to interfere so much. This is Brian's big point um, in the forum, if you read that discussion. Um, we want to make it easier for pass equals Levensol to kick in so that we can, we have the option at least of taking a penalty uh, if we need to. Um, the existing things that are considered preemptive interference will always apply, uh, but there will be jumps below the level of three no trumps that will probably end up being considered preemptive, and some sequences of interference, uh, like ops bidding three times, would be considered barrage bidding, and that might kick in pass equals eleven sol. Um, some of it will depend on um, what the vulnerability position is. We're much more likely to do that if we're green against red than if we're red against green. If we're red against green, we're more likely to soldier on with the asking bid sequence um, and uh, um, and bid to a game or a slam ourselves rather than trying to take a penalty. Okay, any questions on Relay Beta or Relay Beta getting bumped? Okay, last lap. Okay, so at the moment, and for the purposes of this lesson, preemptive interference is defined as when ops jump, when ops interfere and they jump at least one level to a bid that is at or above the level of three no trumps. That's the current definition. It's not very satisfactory, but at the moment, that's all I can give you because we haven't agreed anything else. Um, so now we're looking at what opener does if we get preemptive interference over the previous response. Okay, so uh, I'll try and find you an example hand of this in a minute. Um, so supposing we get the kind of sequence like one club, one heart positive, two hearts, gamma, um, three diamonds, six card, heart suit, one top honor, and our right-hand opponent now comes in with four spades. So that's preemptive interference as it's currently defined, um, and it would still be considered preemptive interference under the new arrangements. Um, so double is still an ask in the suit below that of the interference. And any other bid by opener at that point is an asking bid. So double would be if we'd agreed hearts, for example, with a gamma. Um, double would be a repeat gamma in hearts, if that was an option. And if it wasn't, it would be epsilon in diamonds, the suit below hearts if we'd exhausted the asking bids in hearts. But pass is not a bid in the suit two below. Pass is Levensol. Um, it's an extension to Levensol that, that OCP has uh, um, created effectively, uh, where the pass is Levensol forcing partner to double and now Asker can either pass that double for penalties or they can sign off somewhere. In other words, it, it, it has the effect of taking us out of asking bids, whatever opener does. So if they just bid something now, that's a sign off unless it's obviously invitational. Um, 
but most often uh, openers probably going to pass the double for penalties. So yeah, we th this hand came up last year, I remember, and I made a note of it. Um, we had a sequence of uh, one heart, one no trump, two diamonds, two spades, which is gamma in uh, heart. And then we had a double and two no trumps with D1, P2. Uh, was a five card heart suit with two to three top honors and then ops came in with four spades okay uh, so under any arrangements that four spade bid would be considered preemptive interference um, so now uh, double would be relay beta because the last uh, asking bid was gamma, which agrees the heart. Um, so double would be relay beta, but pass would be eleven soul, forcing responder to double. And now opener could either sign off in hearts or uh, sign off somewhere else even. Um, Anything else, any bid um, in a suit would be Epsilon, uh, if it was a side suit. Uh, and four no trumps would just be abandoning asking bids and inviting uh, Teller to start Q bidding. Okay. Um, No, but uh, the thing is, Barry, is that, for example, I mean, the, the main person who argues for this is is Brian Meadows, Brian M. And and he plays almost all the time. He plays against regular opponents who are a very aggressive bidders and b uh, no OCP well, so they know exactly what our arrangements are for combating interference against asking bids. If you're playing in a team's match and in you have a few one club sequences and you take ops to the cleaners because they think that you um, won't have the ability to double for penalties, um, you may persuade them not to interfere with your later club sequences, one club sequences, because they're going to be too worried about you using this pass equals eleven soul um, to uh, um, to apply a penalty double. Okay. Uh, yes, you're absolutely right. Um, most people won't know about it, so it's not a deterrent, but it does give us the option. If ops stretch their necks out, it gives us the option of. Uh, uh, of applying the axe, that's the point. You know, ops do sometimes, um, you know, they, they do sometimes stretch their neck out at the wrong vulnerability. Um, and it's nice to have the option of chopping it off. Uh, whereas very often at the moment we don't, and half the Half the idea in these changes that we're considering is to give us more opportunities to uh, take ops legs off uh, with a penalty double where currently we wouldn't be able to do it. Okay. So in that last example that I've shown there, we have one club, one no trump showing spades, 
two clubs beat her, two diamonds, not two controls, and then interference of four hearts. So as currently defined, four hearts jumps at least one round of bidding, and it's above three no trumps, so it's considered preemptive. Uh, under the new arrangements, even three hearts would be considered preemptive, let alone four hearts. That's the sort of difference. Um, so now double would be alpha and diamonds, which is a suit below heart. But pass would be eleven soul, telling partners a double. Uh, if opener now bids four spades over the double, then that's just a sign off saying we'll just play in four spades. It doesn't force responder to not bid anything, uh, but it's very unlikely that they would unless they maybe had a void in heart. Four spades for direct um, would be gamma in spades rather than a sign off. So either opener can either sign off in spades if they don't fancy going any further because partner's only got naught to do controls, or if they want to ask, keep on asking, they just bid four spades without using the pass double Levin Sol sequence. So we got the best of both worlds here. Uh, anything else would be alpha, or th sorry, would be theta, rather. Um, so hopefully you can see how we benefit from that. So as I've said there, um, how do you mean, Sanya? Which do you, I've, I've, I gave the sequence in in the example. Um, just hang on a minute. All right, just hang on a minute. Just one minute. Oops, hang on. I didn't mean to send that. One bird, one Sorry, I sh forget that. <laughs> Just one minute. Do you see the difference, Sanya? So sorry, ignore that first example because it was uh, a typo. I was getting uh, 
doing the wrong thing. I was cutting, cutting and pasting, and um, pasted the wrong thing by mistake. Okay, so so one club, one no trump, two clubs, two diamonds, four hearts, four spades is gamma. But if over four hearts, opener passes, that's eleven soul forcing responder to double, and now over the double, four spades would be just a sign off. Similarly, if uh, opener bid five diamonds over four hearts, that would be uh, theta in diamonds. But if it went over four hearts, pass, eleven soul, double relay, and now five diamonds. That would be just a sign off in diamonds. Okay. That's the difference. No problem, Tanya. Anybody else struggling with this? Okay. So, as I said before, um, open the signing off doesn't compel responder to. Uh, to pass if they've got uh, a particularly good hand that they feel they've not been able to show particularly with uh, if either uh, opener hasn't asked about controls and responders got a lot of them or maybe they've got some controls that they haven't yet shown in the form of voids or maybe singletons in op suit then responder is able to carry on but in the knowledge that that opener actually decided to uh, to sign off. Oh, hang on a second. Right, just give me a minute to digest that one, uh, Sanya. You're better off, actually. Well, I guess everybody else has seen that. Then, just bear with me a second. So we had one club. Interference of one spade, two hearts, positive response, two spades, more interference, pass, pass, two no trumps. The first pass over two spades would be uh, gamma in hearts. So now the two no trump bid is three controls, I would guess. Because double would be available as a space saving measure, but pass isn't. So two no trumps would be showing three controls. Now we had three clubs, which would be uh, relay beta. No, it wouldn't. Sorry, what we're talking about. Uh, sorry, what we're talking about. Two, sorry, 2N would be uh, one top on a five card suit because the pass over two spades was gamma in hearts. So 2N is uh, five card suit, one top on a. Three clubs is now relay beta. And over the three clubs, relay beta uh, ops with three spades. So now double would be showing naught two controls and pass would be showing three controls, Nori. Okay. I think Nori shared his sequence with you. So hope you hopefully you can uh, uh follow what I was talking about. Just one minute. Okay, so just going back to what I was talking about before, uh, if you just take this sequence, you've got one club, one heart, one spade, alpha in spades, two diamonds, no support, four plus controls, and then a bit of four clubs. Uh, open the passes, which is eleven soul, responder doubles, and opener now signs off 
in four spades, their alpha suit. If Responder had something like uh, two to a top honor or three small in spades and say five controls and avoiding clubs, they'd be mad not to, cont not to continue. So they would just cubid clubs over north sign off or open the sign off of uh, four spades. Um, so you can continue, but you have to bear in mind what you have shown and what you haven't shown, and you need to have significantly more than what you've shown available. Um, sorry, more than what you've shown already available uh, before you should start disturbing a sign off by ASCA. Bearing in mind that they know ostensibly more about your hand than you know about theirs. Okay, so that's it for the teaching for tonight. Uh, anybody got any questions? Oh, sorry, Barry. Um, one question on having a gamma with a one-step response. It depends. It depends on the preempt, Barry. Um, if uh, if the if it is preemptive interference, however it's defined at any stage in time, then no, the pass equals leb bumps relay beta. So the double would be relay beta, and the pass would still be leb and sol. Okay. And the bottom line is it doesn't matter actually uh, how many steps Gamma gets initially. Um, if Ops preempt over that, however that's defined at any one stage in time, Pass being Levensol takes precedence over relay beta. So pass would be love and soul, double would be relay beta, and anything else would be whatever asking bid would be suggested by the bid. Okay, Barry? Anybody else got any questions on what we've covered tonight? Um, I'll tell you what, rather than me... Uh, just explaining some more hands I, I think we'll just practice some um, so please can I have four victims don't be shy sorry how do you mean John Double equals Exelon in diamonds. They always are. I'm still trying to get my head round the sequences here because sometimes we're in, oh no we are including ops bids so two hearts positive pass over two spades is gamma in hearts two no trumps is showing 
five card suit, one top honor, three clubs as relay beta, no over three spades is showing three controls and well you see I actually I'm not sure I agree there John I think double would be a repeat gamma because we're not at game level yet I think it is a repeat gamma, not a, an epsilon in diamonds. Okay. Um, yes, I would say that's a repeat gamma. Um, oh, another one. Thank you, Barry. Come on, one more, guys. Please don't be shy. We don't bite. Well, not very hard, anyway. Mm. come on we waste so much time waiting for you guys to sit down David Malcolm Michael Sona Nuri with all the questions that Nuri asks in the forum he should be the world-class expert on this system by now. Thank you, Malcolm. Right. Let us have a look. So I may sometimes suggest interference if you don't do it, but uh, mostly it's fairly, fairly obvious. Esther is deciding whether her east hand qualifies for a one club opening. Mm -hmm. Tough decision, East Esther. Yeah, it was touch and go that really, wasn't it? That that all that's all right. <laughs> I was kidding. Yeeha. Oh, no, Malcolm. Bid one heart, please. Somebody hit yes if I do this uh, thing starts operating. Um... E, now that's uh, put the cat among the pigeons, isn't it? Oh, come on, John. No, all right, go on. It don't matter because we're out of asking bids now. No, it's okay, John. You you carry on. I'd, sorry, I wasn't asking you to. Uh, Chop your neck off at the Ooh. Ooh, this will be interesting, Esther. I can't wait for this.
I must admit, two no trumps wouldn't have been my bid. I, I can't deal with this now, Nuri. No, I wouldn't shoot a low beta in there. I would uh, shoot a gamma in there. Oh. Somebody hit yes. I would just pass Esther. Pass his gamma and diamonds. All right. He managed it eventually, which is good. <laughs> yes. Okay, so over two clubs... Pass was pass was gamma. Over the two clubs, double would be no top honor. Pass would be five card, one top honor. Two diamonds would be five card, two or three top honors. And as Barry worked out correctly, two hearts is six cards with one top honor. So just if you just stop there a minute before you bid, Barry, supposing North had uh, bid two spades over two hearts. Now pass would be relay beta because the pass previously was gamma and the two hearts is showing the gamma response. So if North bid two spades instead of passing there and Esther passed, that would be relay beta. And double would be um, no relay beta is always the cheapest possible thing, John. So pass rather than double. Oh no no I said if North bids two spades, John. North passed over two hearts, but if they bid two spades over two hearts, now pass would be relay beta, and double would be uh, um, an epsilon in hearts. So double would be double would be epsilon in hearts. Pass is relay beta. The cheapest possible thing is relay beta. Yes, because North has passed. John. North has passed, so two spades is relay beta. But if North, instead of passing, if North had bid two spades over two hearts then pass would be relay beta. Okay, so three controls. Indeed.
Ah, oh, right, okay. No, but... Oh. John, you're not getting the point, are you? If North passes, there are no space-saving measures. There's no D1P2 when North passes. I'll be through in a bit, Nemi. Um, but North did actually pass. Do you not see what I'm getting at, John? I'm not sure you'll find one in the, the BBO lexicon. doesn't work. Hell, BBO doesn't even give you this. Okay, so three spades epsilon, four hearts, second and third round control. It's still... Hang on a second, guys. Yes, Naomi? Hang on a second. I'll be back in a minute. Um, Esther to make seven no chumps, please.
Right, I'm back. Where have we got to? Ah, this is boring. I showed you how to play this hand last week. We actually had this hand last week, guys. Um, it actually works on a double squeeze, this one. Oh, yes, that's much the best way of claiming this hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Ops know you were here last week, so they know you'd find you'd know you'd bid the Yeah. Easy easy on this particular bidding because North bid hearts. South showed clubs. So it's it's much easier to find the double squeeze. Uh it's very easy when you claim thirteen tricks, Esther, I agree. <laughs> No problem. Okay. Any questions about uh, the bidding on that hand? If not, let's try a few more. Um, Okay, I want a double from East here, please. Okay, if we can just stop there a minute, John. Oh, okay. John, could you just undo that pass a minute? And then, no, I don't want to, yes, okay. Somebody just said yes, if I do it, it mucks up the bidding. Okay, can I have some an opinions, please, on what redouble means and what pass means here?
Which, Esther? So what is pass, Esther? Interesting. So what's redouble? Anybody got any opinions on, on what redouble is? Okay. Well, nobody's come up with the right answer. Okay. Pass is sigma. And redouble is relay beta. Because sigma takes precedence over relay beta. Okay. Three spades was alpha, four hearts, positive response. Oh, no, hang on, I'm wrong. Four, sp yes, actually, no, I, I am right, because um, four spades, right, but it's ambiguous, John. Do you remember, we had this discussion, it's ambiguous, four spades. It could be a sign off, it could be Sigma. So in those circumstances, pass becomes Sigma, four spades is the sign off, and redouble is relay beta. We had a big long discussion about this in the discussion forum last year. And I'm fairly sure. <laughs> well, you don't have to use it, Sanya. You just tell your partner that, that you forbid them to use it and, and you're away. OK, anyway, I. I'm 99% I'm certain. Yeah, but it may well be that South that South here wants to sign off. Different hands. You know, maybe they've got a hand that's very quacky. And they actually need North to have a huge number of controls before they want to go past four spades. Not impossible. They may have loads of losers in hearts. And so they need North to make the running. John, that's the point. I, I think, you know, even if even if this kind of sequence was not covered in. OK, but I think. As I recall, the whole point about the discussion we had last year was that um, if, if the relay would be otherwise be Sigma, but it's at game level and it's potentially ambiguous, that was the reason why we said that pass would be Sigma, redouble would be Double or redouble would be relay beta, and four spades would be the sign off, so that there isn't any ambiguity.
anyway, I'll I'll look up I'll look up the discussion. Just just park this one for now. Um, you and uh, Malcolm did it how you like. <laughs> But alert it so that we know what uh, what you're doing. Okay, that's fine. So exactly four controls with North. Now the wheels start grinding because North might have an ace and two kings. Not very likely, but they might have. Um, in fact, I would say it's very unlikely that they've got an ace and two kings because that would mean they would have to have king X of hearts. And given the bidding, I think that's very unlikely. Ho ho. So five diamonds was Epsilon. Well done, Malcolm. So six clubs, D1P2, six clubs is the five-step response showing, in these circumstances, exactly ace -X -X in diamonds. Okay, well done. Well done, guys. Um, on a good day, you'll make seven. Um, on the basis that it's highly likely that North will have a singleton heart here at most. So you can plan on roughing two hearts in the North hand and hoping to rough the club's good in the process to provide a long club on which to discard South's losing diamond. But on a bad day, the clubs are going to be 5-2 and you'll almost certainly go off in 7. And realistically... A lot of people won't get to this small slam, so I think you've done well. Okay, any questions about the bidding here? Just uh, to mention in passing that uh, under the new arrangements, we would have got to the stage of preemptive interference uh, long before the five heart bid. Probably the double over four hearts might have kicked in uh, pass equals eleven soul. Wouldn't be likely in this sequence, but um, 
in theory, uh, it might have. Okay, anybody got any questions? Um, I've had a very long day today. So with your permission, I think I'm going to call it a night there, given that it's midnight. So uh, whatever you currently see in the plan for the next few weeks, the week after next is, I'm hoping, going to be a, an extra session just this year on the changes in the definition of preemptive bidding and barrage bidding. Um, and how it affects what we've covered last, the last session and this session. Uh, next week, we're dealing with um, interference over positive responses to one club. Um, and that ties together uh, all of our basic mechanisms for dealing with interference over asking bids. That's the last piece in the jigsaw puzzle. Anyway, thanks all. Thanks all for coming, and uh, I'm not around this week. Um, I should be back home by Saturday, though, so the lesson next week should be...